Hello, beautiful Gemini souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you guys are new here, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome again. It's good to see you guys. So I'm just going to get into your message, everybody. I am excited to figure out what's going on here a little bit further. The information that came through in meditation was very titulating, okay? It definitely wet my whistle as far as interest goes. And I am a Gemini sun, so all the more excited am I to get into this. Um, let's go. So the first thing that came through in meditation, we'll get into tarot and oracle after that. It was already built was the first thing that I was told. So um, the next thing that I was shown was an image of an apple inside of another apple, as if this apple had grown inside of the other apple or another apple has grown around it. Sometimes this does happen in nature where there are fruits that are um, developing inside of another fruit. Um, I just thought it was a very interesting image to, to start off with here. Then I was told, um, then I was told the, the apple of my apple, <laughs> the apple of my apple. Um, and I don't think this is an iPad. Okay. <laughs> or any other Apple product. This apple is starting to, to seem like it's, it's something that we're wanting to participate in, like our purpose, our grander design, something that we're seeking to be a part of, but there's the struggle to maybe even figure out what what it is that we do want to do, what you guys want to do. I'm going to include us. Uh, there's so many of us, right? <laughs> all, all 15 of us inside of ourselves. So the next thing that I was shown or told <laughs> um, in Espanol, donde estas mi corazón? So this is, where are you, my heart? <laughs> where are you, my heart? So definitely, we're, we're seeking our heart something that we feel passionate about or, or we love to do. And I don't, this isn't a person. This is a, more of a purpose. Okay. Um, next thing that I was shown was a, a buoy on choppy water. Uh, a lot of stuff came through here, so I'm just going to get through it. Um, searching for love of something with uh, where, where are you, my heart? Searching for the love of something. It is this inner apple. So whatever this inner apple is, is what we're seeking to find. And we'll dive in to figure out what this is. What the hell is this apple? Um, next, I was given a portion of a song, a Dream a Dream, way back in the day, Charlotte Church and Billy Gilman. There have been lines from this that have come through in readings before, but never this line in particular. So... It's uh, lay by my side, fear not tonight, lonely shadow. And then the next portion is you'll find a new light. But as I was in meditation, that was being given to me that you'll find a new light was given in or as a line, an underline. I couldn't remember for the life of me that line. And that's a part of this message, too. There's this light, this drive, desire, what it is that we love to do or what we love, our love, period is a part of this light, but we're not remembering. We're not remembering, forgetting this. Uh, my question to that was, who turned off the light? <laughs> who turned off the light? Why was this apple hidden in plain sight? And what is this apple? So that song, it, um, it has Elysium in it. I thought it was titled Elysium for the longest time, but Elysium is a place or state of ideal happiness. So wrapping that up in a nice bow, Gemini, we're, we're searching for our happiness. Elysium also comes from, it's, it's, well, it's thought anyway to be a derivative of um, the Elysian fields, which was uh, heaven, essentially, before the more Hebrew-based religions or Abrahamic-based religions came about, where heaven became the ideal place to go in the afterlife. So, um, a place or state of ideal happiness is what we're searching for. All right, let's keep going. A um, few cards came out here in the Starseed Oracle that Spirit wanted to work with as well. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. <laughs> Child of the cosmos. This intellig The intelligence of the universe lies within you. Definitely reminds me of that apple. Apple within an apple here. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestors, seed the light by staying grounded. So all of these, I feel right away, I was like, okay, I, I totally 
can connect the message to what came through in meditation. So with Starkeeper, seed the light by staying grounded, cosmic ancestor. The request here is to stay grounded. This light, this apple, this ideal state of happiness is coming through, but there's a need for, for you to be grounded, to be able to receive this light. Like if both feet aren't on the ground here, it's like a um, mm, lightning being struck by lightning, I guess. Um, not literal lightning, but like a flash of inspiration, that kind of light. If both feet aren't on the ground or we're not grounded, it's going to fry our system kind of thing. We need it to be able to pass through us in a safe way for Gaia, Mother Earth here, to be able to participate in that um, facilitating the light coming through us, illuminating what it is that our true happiness is, as she do. There is also in the book here, it talks about some, some of you may be called to move or go other places to help seed the light and ground that in other areas. I don't feel that that's a mission for everybody. 611 on the timer, which is my number for being on the right track. Okay, cool. And then 616. I don't feel like everybody's being called to travel anywhere, but uh, for someone that message is coming through. Child of the cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. So this is a reminder that everything that you have been, are, could be, anything that's possible in that realm, you have access to intrinsically because you are a divine entity. You are a sovereign divine being as well. And accessing that does not come through force. It's, it's really allowing this memory to come forward, remembering who you are. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> Simba. <laughs> um, so I love that. This reminds me of this apple. This apple is intrinsically inside of us, whatever this state of happiness is. And it's not about forcing it to come forward. And I feel like there has been force. Force is being applied. If you're anything like me, <laughs> this is, I guess, why I was really excited to get to this message. This super applies to me. Um, I definitely have been struggling with um, embracing or finding, searching, um, touching, feeling states of happiness or, or purpose, um, ideal states of that. OK, and as a Gemini, you know, we definitely we definitely like change, like to switch it up. So. I don't feel like this is something that is a static position either. Whatever this ideal state of happiness is moves with Gemini. It moves with us. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out common ground. So this tells me that there is a hyper focus on something that isn't ever meant to bear fruit. Okay. So let's find out where the fruit is. Where's the fruit? Fruit of the loom. Um, let's pull a wild unknown animal spirit card here, and we'll get moving further into your message. So spirit, ooh, Phoenix here at the bottom. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't feel like this is fully the energy that's needed here in this reading, but it is a wink. So the Phoenix rising, this energy coming from the root chakra up through the third chakra, the solar plexus. Um, being grounded is absolutely required for that process to happen too. I feel like we're going through this. You, we're going through this. You guys get ready. Being grounded allows us to really tap in more to who we are. Taking it to the next level, to the limit. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Spirit. Um, additional messages here for Gemini, please. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Firefly here at the bottom. So this is this kind of like flash in the pan energy, that lightning bolt I was talking about. Something will be illuminated very soon and it needs to be grabbed. If the firefly is not caught, it will go to somebody else who will catch it. This is an idea, inspiration, energy that you're intended to work with. But if you don't take advantage of it, it will go where it will be taken advantage of, as energy does. Use it or lose it, right? So cobra and tiger come through here. Ooh, um, Cobra, there is this message of the right time to strike, similar to striking with or grabbing this firefly. 
waiting for the right time to strike. And I feel like the point of both of those coming through is this is going to take a specific kind of energy to be able to capture, to utilize. And so there's a need to conserve the energy needed to catch that. You need to be ready to eyes open, right? Well rested, feeling your oats, <laughs> ready to catch this firefly. The tiger here. So this is a divine feminine energy. I do feel like there is the request there of, of reception, waiting to act, okay? Um, the tiger also talks about our power being in the dark. <laughs> um, the tiger, I almost said shops, the tiger hunts, <laughs> the tiger shops, um, similar, the tiger hunts at night and the sounds that go bump in the night, this could be something that frightens us, but we need to realize that there's nothing to fear there actually, except for our own power. So it feels like there is a push not even a push, but a gentle <laughs> redirection to seeing that there's something in the dark here to be seen. That apple. It's inside of another apple, but it's in the dark, right? Okay, cool. Any other oracle cards here? No. Let's move into the tarot. Um, what sex are we using? Light series. That's right. Let's get started here. I'm excited, you guys. Okay, Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? Additional messages. Actually, I feel like, yeah, before we, I'm going to break the mold just a little bit here, you guys. I'll get back into my structure, but I want to, I want to just see if we can answer that question right away. Can, what is this apple? <laughs> What's the apple spirit? Ooh. <laughs> hey. Ooh. The moon here at the bottom too. Um, being in reverse. So with this deck in particular, they're floating up. Defying gravity. Ooh. Ooh, defying gravity, you guys. So this is withstand withstanding the force of your fear. Okay. Ooh. So this force, the force of your fear here, I'm getting all the chills on that. Holy moly. These are the bumps in the night. Typically something maybe you would be afraid of, but there's actually an immense amount of power connected to that, that which you have previously feared. It's time to turn on the light. Hmm. Ooh, okay, okay, let's get into this. So the Hierophant comes out here asking, what is this apple? What is this apple? Spiritual evolution, spiritual ascension coming through with the Hierophant. This is... um. Your factory setting. With the child of the cosmos, this is standing out here to me too. Everything is already inside of you. Oh, I forgot to, yeah, I meant to, I was like, remember that portion before I was coming into recording. Thank you, spirit. Um, with the child of the cosmos here in the book, it talks about how every flower, plant, everything, you know, on the planet, every cell inside of everything already knows how to behave. Every flower already knows when to bloom. And just like that, so do you. There's this component to be activated inside of you once this apple is found. We'll get a little further into this. You already know how to ascend spiritually here. Whatever this is, is talking about, this ascension. There's kind of a flower there at the top of the staircase. Okay, let's go a little bit further into this. Um, anything else on that apple? Can we know anything else here? Not this deck, okay. The Hierophant. Release. Release grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activities. Okay, so I feel like this is, um, this is an energy... Uh, doubt is what I'm hearing doubt coming through so whatever you've gone through in your life all of us have a history um, we have interactions with people we take on things that people say to us is, is what's coming through here uh, the grudge grudge wounds pent-up feelings 
I'm feeling like you're operating from a place of what somebody has told you how to operate and they don't have a Gemini manual, right? <laughs> you do. You do. Every part of you already knows what to do. And something, some things that some somebody, somebody's have said in the past are lingering in your experience right now. And it's getting in the way. This is this apple that's, that's, oh, interesting. That's covered over the other apple. Ooh, could be your parents in particular, could be um, your caregivers growing up. Like this is how your apple should look. Interesting. Okay. All right, cool. Anything else on that? And then we'll move into the normal spread. Nine of Swords. Okay, so this is um, and High Priestess here at the bottom. There is a there's a need to open up the inner sight here. Eyes closed, but inner sight open. This is the unconscious realm, the shadow realm, the power, the power <laughs> that's lurking in the dark. You have access to it always, but you're being. I'm seeing like a. A runway, I guess, or lights lighting up on a, maybe at a movie theater. Like that's what these fireflies are. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Got all the chills on that too. It's not about catching this. It's about following it. Ooh, okay. Okay. Nine of Swords came through here though. This is stressing you out. If you're anything like me. <laughs> You've been seeking uh, this experience, this energy to the point where it's maybe hurting, causing loss, uh, loss of sleep, lack of sleep, anxiety, or you may be mourning something that never was. Interesting. There's a part of you that's wanting to awaken and experience life. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Let's get into, I'm doing Tamed. Phantasma, okay. Let's get into your regular spread here. What do we have for Gemini, please, spirit? I got excited. <laughs> Love here at the split. This is us, lovers. It's time to make a, a decision. We're at a, a crossroads here. Decision to do what it is that you want to do rather than what it is that others want you to do, what you feel programmed to do. There's the high priestess again, too. Ooh, we're getting there, guys. Okay. What's going on for Gemini here, please, Spirit? I'm super excited to get into the extended, too. I mean, I'm going to, we'll dive into this, but I just want the whole message right now. You know, you're Gemini. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, there's love there at the bottom. So this is your hope. Hopes and dreams. Give you a little more time to look at that. Um, like I was saying, <laughs> I was just saying that. I need to make a decision. Maybe you are aware. I feel like some of you are aware that you are operating from not completely, but that apple that's been surrounded around your true nature. You are operating from that place. You're either aware of it or you're not. But either way, you're feeling that something is off. That's where this nine of swords anxiety pressure is coming from. So you're hoping to find the right path for yourself. Some of you may be hoping for love and connection, a relationship. A message though as well. I feel like some of you are aware that something is a little bit off or you're not maybe fully in your own energy signature and you're requesting a message to help guide you and direct you. That message is coming here with the firefly. Oh my gosh, <laughs> too excited for this. Okay. Spirit, what do we have here for Gemini? And that was the Phantasm. I don't know if I said, I think I did. This is the Untamed Tarot we'll be using next here. What's going on for Gemini? Hmm. I feel very, there's something like, nervousness coming up looking at the fear here i don't know why let's see what the fear is ten of wands okay <laughs> okay so fear anxiety ten of wands this is releasing something but you've come to the end of a journey there's a need to empty out your pockets to start a new journey 
like I said, on the scale there, you're either fully aware of what this outside Apple is, or you're not maybe logically aware, but you're feeling something's off. You're feeling that there is a need to release something. It could be a, I feel like for some of you, it's, it, it might be a relationship to your caregiver caregivers. I know some grow up in environments that are not very healthy. Um, for others of you though, I feel like it is just this, or the rest of us, it's just the exterior Apple it was never ours. It wasn't our Apple. Okay. Okay. Let's get further into this here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. General to start, we have the star. Um, I like this too, because the star actually has a heart in it. So this is that apple. The star is renewed hope, a wish come true. This is, um, this is that in inner apple, the ideal form of happiness. Okay. Oh, okay. This character here is also very grounded. Back to that as well. Which is difficult for Gemini, typically. We don't necessarily like to be grounded. But with as much Quicksilver Mercurial energy as we are afforded, it's really important to ground into that Earth energy because we can sit and spin in our head, especially when it's something we're trying to figure out with just brain power. We're waiting for a sign, that's what I'm hearing. We're waiting for a sign with that firefly. Um, whoop, what's this? Hmm, I didn't shuffle this. Anyway, I shuffled this. Um, I don't have this deck in reverse, but this came through in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. So this is, um, I feel like this energy is very much connected to finding that apple, having that renewed hope happen. This is abundance. This is generosity with that abundance too. Stepping into this energy of, um, of the King of Pentacles, becoming somebody who is so comfortable with their identity, their experience here, even more literally having having um, resources, finances. Being in reverse here, I feel like this is just a blocked energy. I do have some decks where I read reversals, but this is not one of them. So coming through in this way, this very much tells me that this is energy that's available to you. It's just blocked at this time. Any advice on that, please, Spirit? Certainly. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Manifestations are on the way. I'm very strongly getting that message of staying grounded. This message is on its way. And if you're, if you're out and about, well, I mean, obviously you can be out and about if you're not present, you're going to miss, the, you're going to miss the delivery that you need to sign for. Okay. So good stuff here. Queen of pentacles. Ooh, yes. So Queen of Pentacles is um, an individual who takes control of their own life, makes the decisions that they want to make to experience what they want to experience, to have what they ha want to have, to live a life of opulence, to live a life of fertility. So being in the good stuff here, I mean, all of that, that's all excellent. Taking control again and making making the the decisions that are for your highest good for your best interest. Shedding off this apple, this exterior apple. I feel like that exterior apple, as I'm sitting on it more, are expectations, even demands from others. That's not what your apple should look like, right? <laughs> should look like this, put this on. Nah, nah, man, nah. Um, Ten of Swords comes in here next for the good stuff. So speaking of shedding that apple, this is betrayal, rock bottom, painful loss. The only thing that we do when the Ten of Swords comes through is get the hell out of there, <laughs> move away from it. 
all pain, no gain. And that's what I'm getting from this reading for meditation up till now, whatever that exterior demand or expectation has been with that exterior apple is got to go. There's this feeling of artificial comfort is what I'm hearing being inside of that apple. Like, because, because it's been there for so long, this feels like home feels like home, right? Well, it ain't, this wasn't the, this wasn't the tree that you came from. You are not the fruit. That fruit that's around you is not the fruit of this tree. Coming back home, I'm seeing that star with the heart again. Coming back home to your original roots. Oof. Okay, anything else there? Can you tell me about that? Coming back home, anything else on that? What are the original roots? Loving yourself. Yep, Knight of Cups. Um, also a card of fertility. This is telling me that you have an extremely beautiful ability to manifest. Of course you do, Gemini. This requires a base level of, of love for yourself, though. And I'm not saying you don't have love for yourself at all. Um, there is this expectation or demand, though, that is tainting your base operating function. Treating yourself... Uh, dating yourself is how this Knight of Cart, Knight of Cups comes through for me. Loving yourself in the way that you ought to be loved. Figuring that out if you don't know, if you don't know. That's a part of this getting grounded, okay? Starting to mend those wounds, okay? Okay. So what you don't see here, what's in the dark, what's coming, you have the hangman. So, is that a, oh, it's a butter, well, it kind of looks like there are some little fireflies here. There's a little butterfly or moth down here. What you don't see here is you've been waiting. You've been hung upside down to see something from a different angle. This is a request by spirit, or this is being done by spirit, because you're requesting this too. And because this is your birthright. You're an apple in somebody else's apple's clothing, and that's uh, that's not you. So you're being shown where to go to, to access that apple. I feel like there is, um, what you don't see here in the dark, is that sign is coming. This requires patience, though. I'm drawn back to the cobra here. This patience on when to strike. Can I look at this card and then we'll ask? Oh, maybe these are. That's so weird. Yeah, these are the only two that are in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles is well in reverse. So the King and Queen of Pentacles came through here in reverse in this deck. Um, being in the good stuff there, like I was saying with the Queen of Pentacles, that's that's coming. Because this is in the dark in reverse, again, I feel this energy is blocked. We're waiting for this sign or this direction to be led. To be able to access the abundance of the king and queen. And, you know, the king and queen of, of blah, king and queen of pentacles are an excellent match, excellent partnership. So if you are somebody who's seeking love, a relationship, love to see that. This apple is not a relationship because our happiness does not come from somebody else. But it could very well be a byproduct of you vibrating to your full frequency. Oof. Okay. Um, spirit, what is this sign? What is the sign? Four of Cups. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I'm going to pull another card here, but Four of Cups, this is waiting for that sign. There is a reminder, an alert. Yeah, there's an alert here. To not get overly fixated on negativity, anger is something that's coming through, pessimism, laziness, even something like spirituality. Um, what I'm getting is, before the sign comes through, 
before the sign comes through, there's a need to be, again, grounded and balanced, as balanced as possible. And I know, you know, a Gemini's balance maybe doesn't look the same as everybody else's balance, but I get you. I feel you, Gemini. So the request here is to be patient, to be waiting patiently. There is this sign, this divine offer that's coming through here. But you need to be looking in all directions to see it. Okay, so then what is the sign, please, Spirit? Can we know? Please. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> so, I'm going to explain that. This is, this is your community at large. It's ultimate material and spiritual abundance. I feel like Spirit's dancing around what the sign actually is, and there's there's got to be a reason for that. Um, I'll do my best to find this. It, it may come through in the extended. I don't know. We still got a few cards to pull here, but... Um, there's something connected to your community, like the answer direction being reflected in others. It's not, it's not coming from somebody else. It's the reflection in their eyes. It's you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just want to know what is the sign, please, spirit? What is the sign? Stress, cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary commitments. Yes, yes. So I feel like then I'm gonna I feel called to pull an archetype card here. The sign is coming, is coming from inside. The call is coming from inside the house. Of course. Um there is a quiet knowing is is what I'm getting that the sign is that is not recognizable if you are lost in feelings of stress. God knows I've been. <laughs> I've definitely been feeling that. Anything else on the sign, please, for Gemini? Take a walk is what I'm hearing. Take a walk. Okay. Gonna take a walk outside today. <laughs> Milo notice. That's a good one. Ooh. Okay. The poet... Mm, the poet, the maiden, and the mirror all fell out here. Again, I'm brought back to that like reflection in your community's eyes here with the mirror. The, the message, the firefly, the guide is coming from inside. You're going to feel that. The poet, I'm feeling this is, com this is coming through. Okay. This is coming through as you're tapping into creation. So doing something that is creative, creating something, creating something puts you in the right frequency to receive or recognize this firefly or this message. And this is interesting coming through with the maiden too. So taking a walk, I'm seeing that flower, the rose, first of all. Something around... Flora. Signs in the outdoors uh, regarding flowers. But the maiden, what comes through for me first with this is uh, maiden mother crone, right? The crone, I feel like, and it doesn't, you do not need to be female to have these archetypes apply to this, these do these exist everywhere. The crone is a very misunderstood energy. I feel she's been bastardized <laughs> um, to be, you know, the witch, the hag, etc. The crone is an energy that is so experienced in the ways of the world and energy that she has reached a level of impartial attitude so she is no longer biased by forces outside of herself having the maiden come through here what i'm getting is that there is there's an energy that's stuck on the maiden there's a need to come to to crone level or that's where you're being led here but something is stuck in childhood like i was saying something with the caregivers there 
You want to bloom like a rose here. But this requires saying goodbye to, ooh, saying goodbye to your history and to your past. Okay, I feel like I go, I could go into this forever. I mean, not literally, but let's get into your challenge at this time. Eight of Wands. So this message coming from the heart here, I feel like there is difficulty in hearing that message, like I said. And I feel like it's because it could even be trauma, if you want to look at it that way. Something that's keeping you stuck as the maiden. But Eight of Wands here is um, good news, too. I feel like there's difficulty in waiting for direction, where to go with this, or how to go. Tell me when to go. What else do we have here, please, Spirit? And then King of Swords. Actually, this one's in reverse, too. Maybe this is, I don't know, maybe they are back or shuffled. King of Swords here in reverse. So I do feel like there is an issue with vision. Not literal vision. I mean, maybe, maybe you're having difficulties with vision, but discernment. Being able to see the forest for the trees or through the trees is what's coming through. There's an over-focus on a singular component and it's not it's not the component that like you're looking for this apple in the wrong spot you don't realize that it's inside you and so you're looking for it in others but this pursuit is not incorrect it always leads us back home that reflection comes back to us anything else on this please spirit this one's getting a little bit longer but the message need to come through. Anything else here for Gemini? You don't want this deck, okay. Which one? Lights ears. What is needing to be seen? Three of Swords. There's some heartbreak, some stormy emotions, some healing that needs to happen. The pain of a broken heart is blinding. Mm. That's kind of that's kind of what it looks like. This individual's touching their heart or holding their, their chest here. Looks like they're is that a, looks like they're doing a the west side sign here. A W. Hmm. Four into three. You're missing the you're missing the step of action. What is the action? I don't normally go this far into it, but I'm invested with Gemini. You know, you know. What is the action? Three of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Lovers again here at the bottom. There's something of connecting with people. Three of Pentacles here is recognition, success, and rec um, connecting with others, working with others. Ace of Cups, a new emotional opportunity. But this deck in particular, they're holding their heart. Protecting it, feeding it, and letting it feed them too. So what needs to be recognized there, Spirit? Creativity. Okay. Embrace, find peace with your current state of being. Creativity, have fun, express yourself in new ways. So we're back to um, creating, you guys. There's something about the process of creating something that is helping loosen what I'm seeing. That's a weird image. I'm seeing like a, a tooth, the ligaments being loosened in the socket. Almost like your blood pressure has been too high. It's They're frozen. Interesting. There's a need to create something. And in creating something, anything, art, painting, drawing, singing, dancing that is allowing you to tap into this flow and this flow is taking you is taking you to this apple. Oh my gosh. Okay. Like I said, I could keep going. I'm going to draw a blue angel oracle card here and then I'm going to move into the extended. You guys, um, 
If you want to join me there, I'd love to see you. If not, I hope this message is helpful. Okay, let's figure this out. Gemini, what's going on for Gemini? Last message here. Multidimensional he healing, excuse me. And Luna, hmm. That feels important too. So multidimensional healing. This is an opportunity here for you. This this isn't just, okay, I want to say that. Accessing this apple is not just an endeavor of this lifetime. This is something that many forms of yourself have been seeking, okay? But you are, what I'm hearing is clincher. You're able to finalize that here. There's an opportunity to really drive that home. Five being change. Look up Luna here. There's something about the moon. Emotional healing. Yeah. Yeah. So in the days leading up to the next full moon, you may feel unusually emotional for no apparent reason. You're experiencing an emotional healing, the release of unexpressed emotions that you have kept locked inside for a long time. Perhaps you had forgotten these feelings existed, so they have come to remind you. Yay. <laughs> Let them go and you shall be healed. There is nothing you need to do or work through. Just allow your emotions to surface without trying to suppress them. Allow all to unfold as it will and trust it is a blessing. You will enjoy the benefits of this emotional release for years to come. Yeah. This feels like a, a major threshold. Like the pressure release of an abscess. Okay. I love you, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. And I do hope this is helpful. Like I said, moving into an extended. So um, we're going to look at direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. Links are in the description of this video. I do have them for sale individually. And you can also purchase the third tier of membership to have access to all of them if you'd like. Um, I do have private readings open and available if you guys are looking for that. Or if you want more specific help and guidance with a more personal issue, the link to my website is in the description of the video too. I also have my Cash App and PayPal links in there. If this reading did resonate with you guys and you do want to tip or donate, support the channel in that way, I truly appreciate the support, you guys. It goes a long way. And to those who have done it, it's not mandatory, but I love you for it. Thank you. Thank you. Please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing if this resonated with you as well. Again, it supports the channel in uh, more ways than you know. So thank you. Okay, Gemini, please take care of yourself and take a bite of that apple for me. Okay, enjoy your, enjoy your true happiness when you find it. All right, take care.